What is going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today I'm going to go over three stocks that have a very strong likelihood of a squeeze. So I'm going to go over the fundamentals and everything else you need to know. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And without further ado, let's get right to it. So when it comes down to it, I'm going to start off by going over some of the economic data coming out this week. Because whenever there is positive data that does come out, it gives the market a nice quick rally. Very good momentum. And of course, a lot of these squeeze plays very much depend on momentum. Because of course, shorts are very much fearful about the potential upside. So they usually result in some sort of a squeeze. So I'm going to go over that. As far as Monday, it is closed. I'm sure you're already aware of that. Tuesday, Wednesday for the most part pretty quiet there is thursday that does have gdp numbers coming out and on friday there is pce feds like to use pce as a good indicator of true inflation so they usually base their decisions on that so that's something just to be aware of and getting right to the three short squeeze stocks i'm not having them in any particular order just so you guys are aware but the first one is EVgo. Year to date, it is up roughly about 59% and versus the one year down roughly about 29%. And whenever you do see a stock, for instance, above, let's say 30% year to date for 2023, this is a good indication that it is a very big growth stock. And unfortunately, usually does have shorts or fairly high short squeeze as well because shorts like to bring a lot of these growth stocks down, especially in 2022. But $6.52 right now, as far as what is happening with them on the short front short score is currently 98 the higher the number the higher the likelihood of a squeeze happening and on a side note if you guys have any questions about any of this let me know in the comments utilization is 100 shares on loan is 36.27 million and as far as the percentage free float on loan is 52.94 so that is fairly high considering the estimated short interest is 37 so be aware of that and as far as the cost of borrow the market is tentatively closed right now but previously was at 156 6.22%. That was the average. The max was 205 and the low is 113. So potentially behind the scenes, there could be a good squeeze as a result because in order for a squeeze to occur, you need four things. You need a good momentum or a, they're a positive catalyst. You need a lot of shares being shorted. So 25.66 million shares being shorted. 37.46 is the percentage of the free float, like I already mentioned. So you need those two things. You also need a high cost of borrow, which of course this does have. But when it comes down to it, you also need utilization to be fairly high. And right now, like I mentioned, utilization is at 100%. So theoretically, EVgo does have everything behind the scenes for a fairly good squeeze. But... Moving on from here, the second one is Beyond Meat. And I covered this one, I think, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, something like that. As far as the one year, it's been down roughly about 65%. Year to date, up roughly about 43%, give or take. So this one has been one of the ones that's been very heavily shorted for a while now. So even generally looking at the chart, it was around the 200s, 150, and now it's at 1774. So very much just been beaten down. And this has actually shown in the past that it does have the capability of having a fairly good squeeze. So just be aware of that. And short score right now on Beyond Meat is 96. Utilization is 100%. As far as the percentage free flow on loan is 47.3 or 47.23. The estimated short interest is 37.06. So once again, it does hit both of those marks. As far as cost to borrow, it's around 277%. That is the average. So very, very high. And 21.5 five million shares is being shorted and just be aware of right here so the overall outstanding shares is only 63.74 so a lot of shares being shorted so potentially beyond meat could have a very good squeeze in reality i don't believe there is any catalyst for specific beyond meat for it to cause a squeeze so it would be very much dependent on this economic data but once again, I'm not a financial advisor, so do your own due diligence at the end of the day. The third one, though, is Tattooed Chef. So very much linked and kind of similar to Beyond Meat, but this one does have a lot of good fundamental squeezability, if you if that's even a word. But Tattooed Chef, ticker TTCF, as far as the one year, down roughly about 89 or 88%. Massive, massive, just been beaten down. Year to date, though, it is flat. So like I said at the very beginning, it's not technically above that. 30%. This is one that the operation has just been failing. So shorts have been all over this. 
but in my opinion, maybe too much so, possibly. So as far as right now, short score is currently 92. The percentage on the free flow of loan is 26.35. So the estimated short interest is actually higher than what is on loan. So potentially a lot of naked shorting. So this is why I wanted to bring up Tattooed Chef because it could potentially have a good squeeze as a result of that. Utilization is 100%. Cost to borrow right now, the average is around 34% as well. So I think behind the scenes, this could definitely have a squeeze. It doesn't have that very high short or a cost to borrow that a lot of the other stocks do have, but it is also on the threshold list. If a stock is on the threshold list for roughly about 13 consecutive business days, then this is where the actual clearinghouse will be forced to cover their position. So even though this doesn't have the highest cost to borrow or whatever it is, this could still have a very good squeeze and clearly does have a lot of naked shorting as well. So let me know your thoughts on that. 16.05 million shares is in fact being shorted. So keep that in mind as well. So 16.05 and the number of outstanding shares is 83.66 million. So very, very heavily shorted. So in reality though, a lot of the operational business uh, has really been suffering. So this is why it's gone down, but I think it is very much linked to higher interest rates and just inflation, which of course, like I mentioned, based on the economic data that is coming out, if PCE is in fact a lot lower than the forecast, then hypothetically, this is where stocks such as Beyond Meat and Tattooed Chef, which of course has business very much linked and dependent on high, lower interest rates and lower inflation will just skyrocket. So once again, that's my three stocks. Let me know your thoughts on those in the comments below or potentially any other stock that might catch your interest. So let me know your thoughts on all of that in the comments below. If you haven't already hit that thumbs up and subscribe, I always greatly appreciate that. But with all that said, I appreciate you guys going through all this with me and let's all make a lot of money on whatever stock you invest in.